Howdy, my name is George, I'm the Travel Comber, and today we're going to talk about the benefits and some of the tricks you need to know when you reserve a cruise through Costco Travel. To do that, the first thing you need to know, or one of the things you have to have, is the membership card you get into their box store. And uh, to do that, there's a $50 fee or fine that you have to use. You know, sometimes I like to call it fine because, you know, if you want to go into their store and you don't have their card, they yell at you. They go, hey, where's your card? And I go, I don't know. It's, it's in my wallet somewhere. It's kind of fun trying to sneak in without it. They catch you, hey, there's my card. But anyway, they're going to want that card when you go to reserve. And they're going to ask for that card number. So one of the things you have to do, and it's like any of the box store um, places uh, you have to have that card to do the reservations on there there are a few benefits if you kind of think about it that you can have going through Costco travel and one is that price they have a great price structure in comparison to other uh, travel agents travel agents they get the same price as the uh, cruise gives out whatever that may be but Costco travel what they do is they buy a block of cabins on some decks so if you look over here what they'll do is they'll sit there and they'll get this floor or this deck and this deck and they'll reserve the, all the rooms in the deck and give it to you for a special price and that is what we're trying to do because nothing's better than getting a good price I want a good price you guys want a good price now as we think about um, uh, dealing with Costco and dealing with their travel site they become your travel agent and being a travel agent, they want to get your business. And to get their business, they sometimes have some special deals that you can get some great pricing on cruises. And pricing and benefits that are what I call the perks of going through them. Now we all, me, you, everybody likes to get the best bang out of our buck. That means I want the cheapest price or an inexpensive price because it doesn't make the cruise any cheaper. Um, because the quality is high. What it does is make the price lower and you get some extra perks and what that other travel agents may not give you. For example, one of their big perks right now, they give you a Costco cash card. Now it's kind of interesting. I went on a cruise two weeks ago and, and when I flew back from, or flying back from, from Florida on a three hour delayed flight and I finally get there nine hours later. Ugh. And when we get home, what's in the mail? Hey, my card. And I got a cash card. A cash card for $140, that means I can buy about 90 hot dogs. And wow, I'm ready to go for the next year. Every lunch, have hot dog. Um, but they also give you some great benefits when you do that. Now, what they'll do when you're a member of Costco, and those who are members are probably you know, watching this say, what is the little trick that you're going to tell me today and you're waiting for it? Is that they're going to send you a magazine, and that magazine is called uh, Costco Connections. And Costco Connections have some deals in here, but you don't need to have this magazine to see the deals. You go to costcotravel.com, go to cruise, go in the cruises, and you'll find all the deals they might have. And they'll have uh, what they call, well, let's open this up and I'll tell you a few things. They will have things uh, such as uh, uh, Buyer's Choice or the Kirkland Signature uh, Cruises. And so they'll, they'll send this magazine and sometimes there's a little fold out here. And it's called the Centerfold. And the Centerfold this this week is the is Tulum, a Mayan ruin there and uh, uh, the Cancun area that you can go to Cosmo, take a boat across and, and uh, go see it. But that's the Centerfold I want to deal with. One great benefit of this is you get to read things and you go and go and read through and you go, oh, what do they got today? And they'll have these listings of cruises on here that they might deal with. Here's a, a, a Kirk and Signature cruise on Royal Caribbean. Um, here's one on uh, uh, another Royal Caribbean. There's uh, Seattle's Choice Norwegian. So you can go through here and see some of the different uh, cruise lines. The one I'm going to talk about, and the one kind of went on last year, not this year, but last year's cruise, was a beach getaway cruise. And, and uh, I think we had a beach get a great getaway cruise uh, uh, or something similar to that uh, uh, two weeks ago on the Oasis. This is the uh, beach getaway on the Oasis going to the Western Caribbean. I went to the Eastern Caribbean. They had different perks. But one of the wonderful things about going through Costco Travel, they're going to give you better perks than sometimes that travel agent is. Better pricing, better perks, better cruise, right? I think so if you get the same type of room category that everybody else is getting. And they'll sit there and say, we have these for reservation for our members only. 
and Royal Caribbean, because they, they reserve a block of cabins, they will actually lower the price down a little bit to give you a better deal. And that's what we're looking at. We want a better deal. I want a deal. You want a deal. We want cheaper prices. You want cheaper prices. And we want a good experience as if we paid full price instead of a discounted price. But all, all, basically all cruises are discounted prices unless it's like a Christmas cruise or something. They discount them anyway. So if you go through uh, regular travel agents, they'll be discounted to the Royal Caribbean site discount. These are going to be lower. For example, NASCAR uh, reserves a whole ship, for example. They've done that, you know, like Norwegian and stuff. And they will have a cheaper price to get on that. And of course, they're going to have special events for NASCAR of uh, Dell Jr. talk, or they'll have Richard Petty there, or something like that to to get you excited about NASCAR. And they'll give you a special deal, and special trinkets, and special benefits for them. So on, on this case here, this uh, particular deal uh, has on a on the buyer's choice a gift card. And this one says up to, it doesn't say how much this gift card is. You have to look at the site to do that. The one we went on a couple of weeks ago was, like I said, $140. But they also have other things on here. They got uh, uh, beach activities. Now, last year, we went on Freedom of the Sea, and, and they had the beach activity on their uh, peninsula. So you go to Haiti, and they have the peninsula there that you go through and and enjoy some of their uh, activities there. Uh, they say there's a, a Royal Caribbean private island, but it's not an island, it's a peninsula. They do have a, a private island too, but this, uh, the Oasis won't go there on this particular one because it is for the Oasis to see on the Western Caribbean. But they'll stop at the uh, there and, and you can enjoy their, like I say, we had the dragon slide, we slid down. We did ride that dragon tail coaster, that's one of the perks there on Lava D. And uh, I didn't use any brakes, so it was going pretty dang quick. But you can see also it has a beautiful view, we saw if you're going to see in the background. Another perk we had, as we're done doing the roller coaster, and the uh, uh, we sat back at the beach, rat relaxed, and had some drinks because we all had $25 drink perk. So we had some lava doozies and a coconut drink back to the ship. And we had the water slide, and that was fun. And we had the beach toys that we got to play with in the beach. And, and those are good perks to have, and it's those perks that you're looking for. I want a perk, right? And if I'm going with that something special, they're going to give me. Something um, kind of really good here, it says they give you a special dining perk. That means you get to stay at one, that, um, go to one, they're like chops, or we reserved a fancy dinner at um, such, in, on the Central Park area and went to uh, um, uh, Central Park 150, I think it was called. And we went there and had a fancy good dinner, and that's, that was kind of nice to do. And it was, it, was, it was part of the perks. I didn't have to pay for it. It's $45 a person if you want to do it. But here they had that, and we had Johnny Rocket, so we got to eat lunch, and we watched the butt belly flop during the lunchtime. We could have dinner there, too, but, you know, the, uh, the restaurants they have, they're so good, you don't want to waste uh, dinner time with a hamburger. You might, you know, but uh, I didn't. I just I want to get those lobsters that they have. There's another one here, Buyer's Choice uh, Culinary Cruise. That means that's going to feature a good chef. You know, they got a chef here, and I can't even pronounce the guy's name. That's how good a chef guy I am. Um, Luan Simeon Ma. I don't know. Some, it says some feature chef. And that cruise is going to be about uh, dining. It's going to be about food. It's going to be about how to cook food. And you're going to go to special events dealing with cooking. And, uh, and it's at a good price. Um, that one isn't. Uh, ooh, that's expensive. But 15 nights and it's $2,500. So when we went on uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, excuse me, was the Eastern Caribbean. And um, it was on the Oasis of the Sea and it costs $8.99 a person. What's well, a pretty dang good price? It doesn't mean you can get that um, price for, from a regular travel agent. You know, because again, they bought a block of cabins for you to kick up, get the room out of. Now, I'm, here's an example. We went up to the pool, and it's kind of fun on cruises because you get to sit down, and you relax, you go, oh, I'm getting my suntan, I'm going to relax. And we're sitting by these guys from South Carolina, and he says, uh, how much you pay for your cruise? And I says, well, with taxes, utilities, uh, uh, port fees, and the cruise, it costs us $24.31. And you go, what? He says, uh, uh, we paid $3,500 for our room, and it was only like four, down, four rooms down from ours. And you go, why was theirs more expensive? It's because of that block that I was talking about. And so I says, but we don't, they said, we don't have a Costco bias. And I said, I don't know if they won't sell you a card online. So go, go to the Costco site and see if you can renew or buy a card and use it for your cruises. Because you're going to get these special deals. Now, I understand these special deals are not every cruise they have. 
a lot of the cruises they have are just going to be the same price that Royal Caribbean is going to give to you, or Norwegian, or, 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 or Celebrity, or any of those cruise lines, it's going to be the same price. The specialty cruises, what you're looking for, those buy a choices one, they have a Kirk and Signature cruises, and they're going to be a better price. For example, they have a Kirk and Signature um, cruise here for a seven nighter that's only seven sixteen per person. And most of the times when they, when they quote that number, it's going to be a ocean view balcony. Now be careful um, on the oasis of the sea or some of these uh, newer ships. They have balconies, but one might look over the uh, boardwalk, another balcony might look under Central Park. You want to make sure you reserve those balconies that look over an ocean, right? You want you want that ocean view because what a mellow experience to sit back you know, on the deck and just sit there and say, "There's no person around me. This is my private deck for seven days, and let me enjoy that experience." And it's more romantic. Ooh, and that's kind of nice. Now you need to understand one thing: when you use Costco Travel, you're going to call them. And when you call them, it's going to be a call center. Now, these guys are fairly knowledgeable on their cruises. At least they're kind of nice. You, it, it, it's a gamble. Take some dice and roll it. Say, who am I going to get today? Some days you get these really good, knowledgeable call center people. Some guys you get, you get these idiots, you know. They, they just don't know anything about cruises. You know why? They've never been on one. They've never been on a cruise. They know what they do is they pick up their paper. They read what's there. They'll tell you exactly what you just read off the Costco connections or whatever you looked up to. And they say, this is what it is. This is what the cost. This is the benefit you're going to do. If you want that personal thought of a person who's going to contact you and deal with you and deal with the cruises and you're going to pay that little higher price, that's okay. Go to a travel agent. It's okay going to travel agents. Travel agents protect you a little bit. And that's the uh, one benefits to them. But the Costco Travel is your travel agent. They also will protect you. It's just that you're going to get somebody different every single time. And uh, if you can live with the price and deal with the call centers, then this might be a good thing for you to do. Now, I have to realize there's one thing I need to talk about that is a tip. When you call a, the call center for Costco Travel and you change anything on their reservation, they're just going to take it and they're going to call back to Royal Caribbean. And they go, Royal Caribbean, this guy wants to sit there and change their cruise to something else and Royal Caribbean mostly times will, will, will change it. And when they get off the phone with Royal Caribbean, they've changed the reservation at Royal Caribbean and all those perks that you just read about there on Costco Connections, they disappear. They're gone. Where are they? They leave. I want my perks. You know, I don't want to lose my free drinks. Do you? No. So what happens here is that you get back on line, you look and go, oh, crap. My Costco reservation shows me that I've lost all the perks. That's back to a regular reservation with nothing. And I go, come on. So you have to give them a call again, wait that 20 minutes for that call center, talk to the call center guy, and they go, oh yeah, we're supposed to give that. And they'll put it back on. But there's one thing they can do, because it's not them that's dropping it, it's Royal Caribbean is dropping it. So there's one trick I want to show you that deals with keeping those perks on your reservation on both sides of the Royal Caribbean reservation and the Costco travel reservation. And that's a, that's a really easy trick. And most of the guys in the call center don't know this. So I'm going to give you something special. And this something special will work on any of the cruises that you deal with. At least for Royal Caribbean. Now here's my special tip. When you make your reservation through Costco Travel, they're going to give you two confirmation numbers. A cruise line confirmation number and a Costco confirmation number. It's the cruise line confirmation that's important to us because we're going to ask the travel agent at Costco to put an underscore before the first number of your cruise line confirmation and that underscore should allow the perks to stay on both sides the cruise line and the Costco documentation now I want to thank you for uh, watching this video like me if you can uh, invite you up the deck for soda and uh, enjoy your cruise over and out